Hello everybody troop, welcome back, I'm the real Andy of Beverly Hills and welcome to another piece of tea of the day, girl, let's talk about Real Housewife of Atlanta because this housewife is going around claiming that this very famous producer stole from her like literally stole from her and we definitely definitely need to talk about it but before we get into it do not forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want to support my channel now you can do it through the thank bottom right here and let's talk about this mess hey yo mio no Is not here right now. Erica, I don't have to make you look bad. You can do that on your own. <laughs> better? Is bitch better? I'm shaking. I'm physically shaking. Girls, so before we start, I think I need to give a shout out to our partners for this video or people on Liquid IV. Girl, this thing, it's so good. I have to tell you, I have been taking it to go to the gym because it helps you to like uh, uh, electrolyte and it's very good for hydration. It supposedly hydrates you like twice or three times faster than actual water. But you know, more than that, it tastes really 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 good okay uh it comes like they have all these flavors passion fruit watermelon acai berry green apple like it is just and they all taste amazing it's super convenient you literally just take one little envelope you put it on a bottle of water and that's it and it's so 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 good guys so if you are into this whole heat rotation it, you don't have to take it just to the gym you know like these days has been so hot you are sweating all the time you are wasting you know are losing all these uh electrolytes so just take this okay and just like uh, a little like um how you say that advice girl for the hangover mm -mm -mm. this shit is good okay so if you want to get it just go to the description of this video and click on the link you uh, you can use my discount code shade and empire and you will get 15 percent off and free shipping mm -hmm. so get into it all right okay guys let's talk about the mess let's talk about the mess because it is just too juicy Miss Candy Burroughs was on an interview with the House of Aaron, which shout out to the House of Aaron. I love him. He has been here on uh, my show sometimes, and I, I think he's amazing. His channel is amazing, so go follow him and subscribe to his channel. So he did his interview with Candy Burroughs, and girl, money, money, money. She was talking. No, I'm kidding. Um, she spilled a lot of tea, but one thing that really stuck with me if that, is that she is accusing Carlos King of stealing from her. And this is a big deal. If you are in the housewife war, you know who Carlos King is. Okay, he is basically a genius. He is the one responsible behind Atlanta. And Atlanta has been one of the most successful franchises of Real Housewives, you know? Like at one point they were bringing 3 million people a week on ratings. So, and it was all thanks to him. He was also the one who did a lot of things in New Jersey. He literally crawl under the bed and give Daniel Stop the book that provoked Teresa Judas to flip the table. Like this guy knows how to do uh, reality TV. So he, it's usually, he's very big on these Bravo streets. So to hear from Candy that Carlos stole from her, wow, you know, like it's, that means serious business, okay? So apparently, according to Candy, um, she discovered that this guy was trying to sell, to, to steal her storyline, not storyline, so her life story, you know, with Escape and the group and all of that. And she, and he sell the story to a TV network to create a show without telling candy okay now candy got super emotional she even she even 
cry or almost cry on this interview talking about this because she she says that she's such an open person that she's always open to help people to help new talent to she was like if you have just come to me and talk to me you know and tell me your ideas we have been doing something but how is possible that she just went around one day she had the same idea you know she was like hey what if we create a show or something around escape with my experiences and the and girls experiences you know we we have a lot and then when he was she was talking about it uh someone said um okay that idea already exists someone is already developing that and then when she looked into it they discovered that carlos king has sold that idea to a uh, show and they went so far into someone some producer working for him or something like that contact uh candy Boro's mom and wanted to do an interview on her to get information about the backstory and all of that from escape and candy Boros without telling anything to candy and then i'm thinking omg this is shady this is shady. Like you are going to be doing a show about someone's life or a movie or whatever it is. And you're not going to tell that person where you're supposed to be like this close and you were supposed to be like, you know, um, yeah, like friends or something at some point. I mean, Candy is feeling betrayed AF. And you know that Candy is feeling betrayed and very upset when she started, like, not crying, but, like, her voice is breaking, you know, because she's feeling the pain. And she's like, how dare you do something like that? This is my story. This is my life. How dare you do this uh, and being so nasty and do all of these things? Girl. I don't know. I mean, Carlos King, of course, if you're going to be a producer on reality TV, you have to be shady as well because that's how reality TV works. But like, I don't know. I think it's a little, I, I think it's just too shady at this point. You know, I think he should just come forward and, and reach out to Candy and explain the situation. I don't think there is another explanation to this, but you know, at least say sorry or something. I don't know what you guys think. What do you guys think about it? Uh, because Candy, she... Mm -mm. she checked out she i think what i got from this is like she doesn't want anything to do with this guy ever again and those are major words right there right so yeah i don't know so let me know what you guys think on the comments below about all of this i'm gonna be leaving the link to uh house of aaron youtube channel so you can check it out if you want to it's really good he's very good and um yeah check it out and let me know what you guys think in the comments okay uh was carlos king being shady is uh candy boros overreacting i don't know let me know uh, like always don't forget to like this video share this video subscribe to my youtube channel and i'll see you around see ya bye